Ford champion Shawn Michaels had better be in a fighting mood as he stares across the ring at the deranged mankind. King, there may not be two more contrasting styles than what we have here in the ring between these two. No, that's right. This one's going to get out of control if mankind has his way. Well, that's why Shawn Michaels has set up his quote-unquote insurance policy. The question is, when are we going to see what it is? I don't know, but I think we might need an insurance policy before this is all said and done. Oh, mama! By God, folks, that's some impact. What's he going to do to follow that up? Watch it! Nice reversal. Shawn Michaels, the showstopper. Beautiful suplex. What an elbow drop. the time-tested atomic drop effectively here. That suplex was picture perfect. Oh, HBK hits a huge elbow. HBK with a hard right. What an elbow by Michaels. A big fist to the gut. There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Look out, down. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And there's that sweet chin music. It may have just played him to sleep. Oh my, he almost took his head off with that super kick. Pinning predicament. No, Mankind just gets his shoulder up. Oh, and the sound of that slap can be heard throughout. King has been months since we've seen Shawn Michaels in the ring competing. He officiated that classic last night between The Undertaker and Bret the Hitman Hart. But right now, he's facing a man unlike any other in WWE. Well, that's why he has the insurance policy planned. Mankind is enough of a challenge, but you also have to figure Michaels is worried about Undertaker after costing him the title. What's he up to here? and Hemsley saw to that. Shawn Michaels paid the premium. The insurance policy has paid off. Hunter Hearst Helmsley is with Shawn Michaels. to start this match. 
Undertaker does, and I think Mankind does. How effective are Shawn Michaels and Hunter Hearst Helmsley going to be as a team against these two monsters? Well, that remains to be seen, Jerry. But I know one thing, it won't be long before we find out. Oh, I can feel that one out here. And he strikes with a quick kick. Nice backbreaker. Mankind, very crafty there with the reversal. A vicious shot with the knee. Mankind read that and countered. And he's getting out of there. Impressive suplex. And he strikes with the knee. The shot lands from Helmsley. The punch connects. Helmsley with the shot. And there he goes, crashing to the floor. Back into the ring now. Nice suplex. Man, did he teed right on his face? Great ring presence to avoid that. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Oh my! Just bursting those capillaries in their chest. From a tag team standpoint, it would appear that Michaels and Helmsley are gelling a bit better than Mankind and Undertaker. Well, I think that Shawn Michaels and Hunter Hearst Helmsley have resigned themselves to the fact that if they don't work as a team, they're going to get their butts kicked. Or maybe even worse, Hunter connects. Quick tag there. back out onto the apron. A sharp, crisp elbow drop. Oh, mama! And the knuckles connect. And that's a beautiful counter by The Undertaker. Counter by HBK. There's a perfectly executed textbook clothesline. Look at him block the attack. The head 
the Phenom may be thinking about SummerSlam and how Shawn Michaels cost him the championship. Well, it was Michaels who hit Undertaker, and it was Bret Hart he was aiming for. Yeah, we'll try and explain that to The Undertaker. Sending him back Two. into the ring. Taken back into that ring. A stiff forearm. And he's out of the ring again. Flying clothesline. Oh, you can see the pain in their eyes from that vicious chop. between these two incredible athletes. Well, I said earlier that it was going to be Michaels tonight because you have to look at the pressure on the British Bulldog. He's the bigger man, he's the stronger man, he has the hometown support, and he's the defending champion. Well, with those odds, it seems like the deck is stacked against Shawn Michaels. But then again, Shawn has that insurance policy, and we know he can be a factor. To the head. Great reversal there by the Bulldog. A shot to the gut. Bam! What a body 
shot. The goal ball. Oh, lights out. Covered by British. And that goes to Donald. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. The punch connects. His way out of trouble. That was a noxious elbow right to the face. Ooh, what a vicious backbreaker. Collar and elbow. Taya being applied. And the knuckles connect. Big elbow. Oh, they can feel that one out here. That's why you don't want to get too close to the British Bulldog. Oh, man, what, a, what a shot to the face. Ouch. That'll scramble your brains. Oh, he goes down hard. And again, the opponent's sent flying. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Michaels is pulling out every stop. To, uh oh, oh, geez, what a gamble. To take a chance like that, do you know how badly he must want to win this? Great quickness being shown here. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? Nice reversal. Shawn Michaels, the showstopper. Michaels is so resourceful and extremely motivated to grab that self-described Grand Slam. And how great will that be when Michaels wins? Michaels has won at everything in his life. He's been a tag team champion, intercontinental champion, and WWE champion. But will he be able to call himself the European champion tonight? Elbow drop. Dodges out of the way. Whoa! Oh, he got him! There was no hesitation there. This one's all business. Countered by Smith. was dodged and a veteran-like reversal by Shawn Michaels. Man, that was a vicious elbow drop. Now that's how you arm lock. Counter and he holds on to the ropes. to his opponent. Sean way too experienced to get caught by a sloppy move like that. An atomic drop, compressing the spine. Down it goes. You know, 1992 was a good year for the Bulldog. He wins the Intercontinental title in front of over 80,000 fans. But then a few months later, he loses the Intercontinental title to guess who? Shawn Michaels. Does Michaels have the Bulldogs number? Well, you know where I stand. Yes. Yes, Shawn Michaels has the Bulldog peg. Oh, a 
huge slam. Sean's going to the top. What a He's going, oh man, what a painful mistake. And again, he moves to the outside. Somebody go flying through the air. How much force was delivered there? Oh, this is a textbook hold, and this is all but over. bad did Shawn Michaels want the European Championship? He brought in the insurance policy. He brought in Helmsley. And this sellout crowd here in Birmingham is living. I told you, JR. I told you. Shawn Michaels is the first ever Grand Slam champion in the WWE. Will you look at that arrogance? Michaels, the new European champion. Imagine Europe being represented by Shawn Michaels. My God, this is just awful! Weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Whoa! Ow! Have mercy! Hunter, I know what you must be thinking. Dude, what are you doing back there when you should be out here kicking some heavy duty booty all over the building? Well, Hunter, I think it's time we have a little rap. Ho, oh, oh, ho! Because you see, Falls Count Anywhere is not exactly my bag, baby. But I know somebody, Daddy, whose bag it indeed is. He's my man, 
my mean man. You might even say, Daddy, a kind man. <laughs> a kooky type of cat. Let's bring him out right now. Mankind, my main mandible, up high, down low. Ow, you're too slow. Hi, dude. You really are eye candy for the chicks. That much I know, Daddy. But you gotta tell me about this wacky match. Falls count anywhere. Dude, as much as I've dreamed about destroying Hunter Hearst Helmsley, ha <laughs> ha, I know you have. I know someone who dreams about it even more. Oh no, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think I am thinking what you think I think you're thinking. Can you bring him out, Manny? Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack is back. Helmsley, it might be the darkest day of your life because it's New York and Mrs. Foley's little boy is home. Bye-bye. Have mercy. Jack, the other alter ego of Mick Foley. Yes, there's mankind and dude love, but we've never seen Cactus Jack until tonight. Now oh, listen to these moronic fans. This has got to be the blackest day in history. Not only did Vince McMahon get hit with a Stone Cold stunner, but now Cactus Jack is here. Cactus Jack is as hardcore as anybody ever could be. Remember, this match is no disqualifications and falls count anywhere. Right. Anywhere in the ring or outside of it. Helmsley, that cane being used again. The viciousness of this match is off the charts. With DDT. Now he's bringing a cane into the... Watch it. Oh, nice assist from the kendo stick. shot with that foreign object. I think someone's going to get caned. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. What a ferocious atomic drop that was. If I were in this match, I'd start rough. Cactus Jack is in big time trouble. Yeah. What are Mr. and Mrs. Foley thinking about their baby boy right now? Driving that chair into him again. Cactus Jack for the cover. Cactus Jack. Helmsley, the Connecticut Blue Blood, has shown tremendous aggression in recent weeks. Ever since his association for us, I knew this was going to be an unbelievable match. But who would have thought Cactus Jack would show up here in New York City? Cactus Jack was born Mick Foley. Cactus Jack seeing the opening. The barricade just got destroyed upon impact. It sounded like a car crash right through the security wall. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. There's a table. Steel and he's all oh, those steel steps getting used now as a weapon. He's got wood. Well, oh, Hunter Helmsley is being there's that table shot again. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Here's the body 
way! Cactus Jack wins it! Cactus Jack wins! It's unbelievable! in the world and let's go to the wise ass of the ww perhaps the most talented individual in the history of the ww as well but just how or i should say how in the hell are you going to get out of the cell in the hell Shawn michaels so i'll tell you then man i don't have to get out of hell in the cell because i showed everybody last week that the initial outlaws of the world wrestling, Triple H and HBK, we came, we saw, and we kicked the dead man's ass. The WWE and Vince McMahon, you've always been afraid of clicks, haven't you? Well, this is one click that you're never gonna break up. Hunter Hearst Helmsley and HBK. Now, I've been sitting back for a couple of years while you and the WWE have kissed the ass of all these so-called superstars of the WWE. Well, let's face it. You got a little something on your ear there. None of them, not one, could lace my boots. And my good friend just pointed that out to me. So instead of sitting back and waiting for my break, I'm now taking it in my hands. And there is no stopping us. And as far as The Undertaker, Undertaker, tonight, I'm gonna enjoy kicking your dead ass all around this building. So Hunter Hearst Helmsley set to take on The Undertaker. And of course, not far away is Helmsley's new best buddy, Shawn Michaels. And again, King, you gotta figure that Helmsley and Michaels will do anything to soften up The Undertaker before this Sunday. Well, Undertaker better keep his eyes on Michaels because I think you're right. Undertaker Helmsley has been revitalized since his association with Michaels. A much more lethal, a much more dangerous Helmsley in the past month. And speaking of dangerous, think about the Hell in a Cell match this Sunday and how dangerous that's going to be. Well, Hell in a Cell is likely a perfect fit for The Undertaker. One has to think that Michaels will be out of his element come this Sunday. Now, I'm not sure if Shawn Michaels is ever out of his element. It wasn't that long ago that he went to England into the Bulldogs backyard and beat him. Well, I think Michael's days are number king. The two tie up, testing their strength. Oh, big DDT, that could be it. He's left the ring. This could get interesting. Oh, that chair shot landed. He's coming into the ring. Oh, come on. Come on. Helmsley getting his licks in on The Undertaker, and Michaels is setting it up. Caught The Undertaker right on the chin. Oh, and look what they've got for him. A body bag. Finally, The Undertaker is going to rest in peace. Oh, I've been waiting forever to see this. I can't believe this. Helmsley and Michaels have placed The Undertaker in a damn body bag. A huge psychological advantage for Shawn Michaels. Look what he's done. And Michaels can't believe it. The Undertaker will not quit. The Undertaker is back on his feet. Ooh. The Fina 
now is going to corner Michaels. The Undertaker's going after Michaels. Undertaker's going to get it. Run away, Sean. Run away. Michaels will have nowhere around this Sunday in the hell of the cell cage. Hillsley coming up from behind. Come on, Hunter. Oh, this is your chance, Sean. Run. Run away. Oh, no. Sean's trapped. Wow. What was that? The red light. It's the power of the phenom. And the Undertaker has it. Tombstone on the steel. Look at Michaels climbing up the pipe trunk like a cat. He'll do anything to escape. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. And The Undertaker isn't stopping. Michaels has been beat to a pulp by The Undertaker. Somebody has to stop him. How is Michaels still competing? This is ungodly. Again with the chair. The viciousness of this match is off the charts. Uh-oh. Michaels sees the opportunity. Slam and Shawn Michaels is going up. Look out, down below. Oh no. Vintage heartbreak kid. Good God. The Undertaker is enduring so much punishment here. shots to the hip. Here's the pin. An easy kick out by Taker. Without a doubt, probably one of the most dangerous matches in all of the WWE. Watch it. That was an insane move. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Taker's in trouble. And he was just sent careening up those steps. steps being used as a weapon again with the steel steps back into the ring now and Shawn Michaels is going up watch out man you talk about crashing and burning that was ugly sometimes when you go high risk you crash and burn and sometimes you knock it out of the park and that was a perfect example of hitting it big back into the ring now Classic, Shawn Michaels. He's going for the free count. Three. Michaels wins. The show. Come on, he knows where he is. He's on top of the map. 
now. And he's going to meet the WWE champion, Bret Hart, at Survivor Series. Bret Hart took credit for driving some of Shawn Michaels' click down south. Whether that's true or not is irrelevant. The bottom line is, Bret Hart is fighting for superiority, and if he's going to get it, he's going to have to pry it from Shawn Michaels' hands. Well, let me tell you one thing, Mr. King of Memphis. Bret Hart doesn't have to fight for anything. He's already champ. And what I want to talk about is just how irrelevant down south is. Now, I know you have to ignore those guys down there, but come on, King. You can't ignore WCW. They do exist. Oh, there's no question about it. But in any event, we have a match featuring some of the top athletes in the industry today. Not 10 years ago, but today. The shot lands from Helmsley. Bret Hart showing the excellence of execution here. And that attack was dodged. Oh, man, what a shot to the hitman. Bretson and Bret Hart, who believes that he should be the role model. That he should be the man that everyone emulates. That he should be the Pelsley's been recently acting like a 10th grade. He's got his driver's license, got his letter jacket, and the keys to his daddy's car, and he's cool. Oh, he's cool, all right. And some people think this is Michael's influence on Helmsley. But I think it's Helmsley's influence on Shawn Michaels. Well, I don't agree with that. I think, remember, this is a non-title challenge match. Red Hart issued the challenge, and Helmsley accepted it. And what Hart wants to do is dismantle the click before it gets going again. That's right. He's a click buster. And he's getting out. No, no. Shawn Michaels just leveled Bret Hart. And the official on the other side of the ring didn't see a darn thing. The referee's now counting out Bret Hart. Oh, and the ref's up to eight now. And Bret Hart has been counted out. And your winner as a result of a count out. You know that. F that. If Brett doesn't want to do business, then we need to do business for him. King, these two men truly believe that they are the best. It's all about the power, Ross. Bret Hart wants to damage the goods of Shawn Michaels so badly. A lot of speculation about Bret Hart and his future. Everybody thinks that they know the story and that they had the answer. It is very likely, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the last time that these two superstars will ever meet in the ring. I don't like the way that head shook. Some effective chops here. Enziguri. And that punch lands far. Watch it. Bret Hart showing the excellence of execution here. What in pay? It's Vince McMahon. What's the owner of the WWE doing out here? Well, how should I know? Is this company, though? I'm sure he just wants to see that this match doesn't end through disqualification. Oh, more damage from the neck breaker. Bret Hart seemed to have a counter for every hold in the book. And a veteran-like reversal by Shawn Michaels. The German release suplex. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? When you face a superstar as technically sound as the Hitman, it's so difficult to catch him off guard. And a huge blow to his back. Bret Hart takes the upper hand. Good time impact. Veteran reversal by Shawn Michaels. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Counter by HBK. Brought down. He's putting those educated feet to good use. 
HBK with a hard right. What a knife edge chop. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Oh, that elbow's got to hurt. Did you hear how his leg connected? He lights up his chest with that chop. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. Michaels is unusually methodical at this point of the match. He is the European champion. And by the way, the European Championship is not at stake. Yeah, you're right. This one is about the WWE Championship and quite possibly about the future of Bret Hart. Sean, way too experienced to get caught by a sloppy move like that. The Hitman seems to have lost control of this match. Right now, his strength's been neutralized. If he's going to get back in this, he needs to make it a fa whoa, whoa, whoa! is pulling out every stop to watch it. Counter by HBK. HBK sees the opportunity. Oh gosh, careful, careful! What? What is this? Michaels is gonna try and beat Bret Hart with a sharpshooter! Yes, he is! Are you kidding me? to the gut. And the monster reverses it. A sharp kick. What's he up to here? Remember, there are no countouts in... Whoa! Those steps being used as a weapon! That was vicious! He's just brutalizing his opponent. He hooks the head. And there's the Russian leg sweep. Just driving his hands into the throat. And slams him down head first with a beautiful Russian leg sweep. That size 14 connects. Oh, those are some big shots for Kane. Timber, and he falls hard. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Narrowly avoiding the attack. his opponent with that clothesline. Elbow drop. Kane with a devastating counter. Leg drop. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Whoa. No! I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great.
is taking. Oh, geez. You know, these competitors are so evenly matched, I wouldn't even begin to guess at this point. Mankind's in trouble! A clubbing axe handle. Great quickness being shown here. Oh, over the top rope, out onto the floor. And roll back into the ring now. Well, that took something out of mankind. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Setting it up. Big power bomb. Hey, he's going for it again. Uh oh, big move coming. Kane, don't do this again. shots to the head, 
I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. The ref gets absolutely flattened.
Uh-oh. Hey, I said one guy, not three. I don't think they're very happy about this selection. Well, this could have been worse. It could have been Cactus Jack that came out here. Well, you got to give Billy Gunn credit. He is a four-time tag team champion. And now we're being joined by the road dog, Jesse James. That's one half of the tag team champions. I'll spit it out for you. I was getting to that. Well, you were taking longer than this match is going to last because Billy's going to beat him really bad and really soon. Look at the strength behind those strikes. What impact from the knee. Billy Gunn looking good there with the counter. A knee lift. says Billy. Did you hear how his leg connected? Oh, that connected. Gun may be hurt. Striking with the axe handle. Oh, and folks, it don't get more painful than that. He just turned him inside out. What a punch. in all kinds of trouble. Mr. Ass is going to take care of himself. Dude Love beats a sweat across the brow of one half. Dude Love may have this match in the bag. The partner's not looking so good in there right now, Road Dog. You shut your mouth. You shut it. He's just catching his breath. Oh, hard kick to the ribs. A beautiful atomic drop right there. Can come out of nowhere. You can hear the chin crack as he hits the jawbreaker. Billy's in trouble. And slams him down head first with a beautiful Russian leg sweep. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. Just been landed by Dude Love. Dude Love setting it up. Sidewalk slam. That elbow did some damage. Hey! <laughs> What's dude doing here? Good creep! Going for the pin. Here's the cover. Here's three. What's at stake? The opportunity to face the champion at the biggest event in the industry. WrestleMania 14, the biggest event of all time. Right, and that rug has been yanked right up from under Stone Cold Steve Austin. We haven't seen him yet because he's been taken out. I just know it. Well, if that's the truth, it's going to be a heartbreaker for the old rattlesnake. What? That's Austin's music. It's Stone Cold. Stone Cold is here. Hell. How did Austin make it? Austin said, no more Mr. Nice Guy, as if he ever was one. Well, there's no way Stone Cold's going to get through the rest of the competitors in the Royal Rumble. And that union got the job done. Oh, there goes Henry. Oh, mama. Cactus Jack turned it around on him. He lights up his chest with that chop. Time for the next competitor. Uh, the dog looks relaxed. He had no idea he was about to start a fight. But a cold cold turns things around. Oh, that's a brutal headbutt. What impact? A hard clothesline. Collar and elbow. Taya. 
and being applied. Missed him. And that was broken up before it could land. The Rock reverses it. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. After all of these shots, and the old road dog is out of here. The 27th entrant is about to come. The Samoan drop with incredible impact. The rugged Bradshaw will be looking to end this early. Is silly. No, Cactus Jack turns things around. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Oh, man, you take a shot like that and you feel it for weeks. He's hanging on again here. And the Rock counters it. Now, that's the kind of hit that can put you in the hospital. in that attack on the leg area. Oh, things are about to get mean now that Helmsley is in, and the collaboration works. Into the Nippon Rattlesnake, seizes the opportunity. Fast press, look at Austin go. The Rock is not letting up, ouch. A spectacular counter by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Big elbow, let's do on the ropes. Oh, down to the floor. The Rock's been eliminated. I think I know who's going to be eliminated next. That'll give you a big old goose egg. all wrapped up there in the ropes just trying to hold on oh man that's not where you want to be in this type of match they lock up
Texas Rattlesnake will be going to WrestleMania 14. Stone Cold was a mark man. He had to walk through broken glass to do it, but he did it. Stone Cold has won the Rumble. The toughest SOB is on his way to WrestleMania to meet the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Stone Cold is here, and he's ready to fight. And he doesn't give a damn who it's with. Austin, no, Stunner, Stunner, a Stunner. Austin has it. Oh, what a chop. You can see their chest light up. Taking him back into the ring now. There's the elbow. Back into the ring now. And that one hurt his hand. That'll give you a big old goose egg. Ow! Hard kick to the ribs. Oh, and another boot to the midsection. And he unloads with everything. He's Austin's got it. He's really going for it now. There's Press. Look at Austin go. No way. Here's a cover. Gets one. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Austin spots the opening. What a neck breaker. The rattlesnake seizes the opportunity. What an elbow drop. Hey, he's going for it. We got a cover. There's two. That's three. Stone Cold. has ever, and I mean ever, outperformed Shawn Michaels in a big match situation. And folks, it don't get no bigger than this. This is what our business is all about. It's about earning the opportunity to compete in the main event at WrestleMania. Oh, and look at Shawn Michaels. He's so full of himself. He's got great confidence, and rightfully so. He's got Mike Tyson. You may be right there. Michaels looks to be in magnificent shape. And so does Stone Cold Steve Austin in his traditional black boots, black tie. Yeah, and Stone Cold will also use his traditional hand gestures. I've called countless Shawn Michaels matches. The bottom line is there's nobody better in a big match situation than that man, the Heartbreak Kid. A shot to the gut. A sequence and a veteran like reversal by Shawn Michaels. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, my gosh, turned inside out. Oh, what a shot! And there's a quick kick over the top row, and he almost came down on the back of his head. Oh my gosh, jumped right on the back of the head. Sending him back into the ring. Two. Oh, and a nice elbow.
Stone Cold turns things around. Counter by HBK. No one can move as quick or with as much agility as Shawn Michaels. And moves like that exemplify what I'm talking about. He hooks the head. Where's the rattlesnake going? Ah! What courage to take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Oh, big elbow. That should do it. Veteran reversal by Shawn Michaels. Did you hear how his leg connected? What a match. Back and forth. And now it's Austin with momentum. Blocks it. Suplex. Big DDT. Austin spots the opening. That elbow did some damage. Now that's how you thwart the attack. Oh, big right hand. Austin, this could be bad. Oh, did you see the neck snap back? A big fist to the gut. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Stone Cold just doesn't stop attacking. I think Sean is hurt. I think he's hurt bad. This match can end at the blink of an eye with Sweet Chin Music or the Stone Cold Stunner. That's what everybody's asking. What's going to be the difference? Will it be that super kick or will it be the Stone Cold Stunner? I think the difference will be the man standing at ringside, Iron Mike Tyson. The bionic redneck Steve Austin sees the opening. Oh, mama! Austin, no! Oh, nice block. Sees the opportunity. Big body slam. Wow. That the, shook the entire ring. That takes so much strength. The shoulders are down. You'll have to do more than that to pin the government. Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, no. Classic. Sean Michael. There's no question our guest referee is out to get him. Michaels reverses it. Camel clutch applied. And man, is he pulling back on that neck. Oh, did you see that knee? Shots to the head. I've got a feeling that soup's gonna be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh man, what impact from that suplex! Sean way too experienced to get caught by a sloppy move like that. Oh jeez, knee to the gut. That'll take the fight out of you. Oh, clothesline! A sharp kick. And that punch lands hard. Watch it! Oh, we got him! I mean, there is nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. The kick connects. Oh, what a close line. Bam! Taken down with the axe handle. No, he's going. No! A kick out. Referee right on top of the action. Calling it right down the middle. Austin's got it! Sean Michael can believe what he's seen. Mike Tyson fighting 
A huge ball lands. Submission skills on display with this, and he blocked it. The Undertaker is just so skilled. Look at that reversal. Oh, man. That could break your arm.
fantastic extension on that leg drop. Not where you want to be with the dead man. What's he going to do here? Certainly devastating. And there's the elbow. Whoa. Uh -oh. Undertaker may be thinking old school. He is. We first saw Kane in October. 20,000 on hand. Like we have Undertaker has him up. he's ever stepped in the ring with. It started seven years ago at SummerSlam. He has never, ever been challenged like he is now by his brother Kane. Oh, this heat out here is unbelievable. Feel my coat, Derek. Here, feel my crown. I ain't feeling nothing of you, as a matter of fact. What a kick. for the rattlesnake in his first pay-per-view title defense and what an opportunity for dude love black boots black tights black heart for austin and can you believe that a wrestling administrator once said that austin would never make it in black tights what an idiot well i think that dude love's gonna make an idiot out of austin tonight look at dude love he's got a new hairstyle his hair's frosted. He's really into this dude love persona. I bet they could hear that one up in the rafters. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. Spine first into the barricade. Great reversal by Steve Austin. Dude love with a brilliant reversal. Taking him back into the ring here. No, oh, that elbow's gotta hurt. to the ground. Oh, he smacked him with a DDT. Stone Cold reversed it. He was in a must-counter situation, and he did it. And he unloads with everything he's got. Who love can come out of nowhere. A hard right hand. That modified Boston Crab. Is locked in. Oh my gosh! Turned inside out. Where's the rattlesnake going? Oh my gosh! It's like hitting a tree at full speed. Oh man, that neck's got to be hurt after that. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Who dude is feeling that? Austin, this could be bad. It's unreal. And that punch lands hard. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. Oh, what a landing. Not just one kick there, but a combination of blows. That'll knock you silly. What a haymaker. A huge right hand. Stone Cold turns things around. Oh, big right hand. To the gut. He's wearing. Where's McMahon? Well, 
Somebody said he was going to be sitting out here at ringside, but he left. And they said return. Of course, the last time Vince McMahon sat out here, it was a catastrophe to some. That was at Survivor Series, when Vince McMahon was the center of controversy. And what some thought would change the course of wrestling. Well, in my opinion, that's just a little bit over-dramatized. Well, if dude Love's not careful, he could suffer a catastrophe at the hands of Austin. And that's not an over-dramatized statement. Narrowly avoiding the attack. You hear how his leg connected? A spectacular counter by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wow. Austin just opening a can. That suplex was picture perfect. I can just see it right now up at Titan Towers in Stamford, Connecticut. Stone Cold! He's left the ring again, playing mind games with his opponent. Heading back into the ring now. And he strikes with a quick kick. Dodges out of the way. What an incredible suplex. And that one hurt his hand. Did you hear that? The ref gets absolutely flattened. And again, he moves to the outside. What's he going to find? Look at how big! Oh my God! McMahon is down! The ref is down, and Dude Love and Mr. McMahon seem to be conspiring. Oh, calm down, JR. They're just talking things over. Oh, come on, King. They can talk. Austin! No! could be here tonight, folks, wherever you are, and experience this feeling. Well, I know how Mr. McMahon is feeling. He's feeling that this is the last time that Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to hold the championship. Well, Mr. McMahon has stacked the deck. If Austin lays one hand on Mr. McMahon, Austin will forfeit the title. Oh, jeez. Knee to the gut. That'll take the fight out of you. What a perfectly executed submission. Narrowly avoiding the submission locked in. Guest referee doing a fine job. He gets out. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. Where's the rattlesnake going? Ah! A spectacular camera by Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's wearing down the midsection. Look at him block the attack. Dude Love can come out of nowhere. Great quickness being shown here. And he's getting out of there. Great reversal by Steve Austin. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, we got him. Well, what's he going to do to follow that up? And a nice suplex. Bulldog headlock. Driving the opponent face first to the floor. Look at this! Big Bulldog! Oh, right hand! Dude Love with a brilliant reversal. Gets out of the way of that attack. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? Stone Cold reversed it. He was in a must-counter situation, and he did it. 
kicks. Good grief. And that one hurt his hand. Bumped it up. End over end. Look at this. Who got reversed it? Oh, what a foul right hand. Wow. Austin just opening a can. Stone Cold climbing to the top. Watch it. Oh, geez, what a gamble. I mean, that's how you pick your moment and go for it. A simple takedown to get it to the man. That hand had a lot of force behind it. avoided there. Austin, this could be bad. Oh, did you see the way his head planted into the floor off that power driver? Austin's heading up. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Dude Love has lost his smile. Well, he won't be on any magazine covers. Dude Love has lost his smile. Stop it, will you? What? I thought he lost more teeth. It's hard to smile when you don't have any teeth. And that one dropped him. to the head. I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his. Here's a cover. Austin's got it. Austin's got this win. Mr. McMahon's not going to do it. If you touch him, you'll forfeit the title. I dare you to touch him. After all of these shots to the head, we got a cover. Austin's got the cloak, but there's no referee. saying it's going to be a walk in the park, but I don't want it to be. Kane is just punishing his opponent. An elbow. A nice reversal by The Undertaker. Wow, there's some big power in those shots. A shot to the gut. some big shots from Payne. Wow. An expert reversal there by the Big Red Machine Kane. What a kick. Knee lift. Got him. DDT. He used all his weight on that leg drop. Great quickness being shown here. There's an elbow. Searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. That size 14 connects. And he strikes with the knee. Taker's in trouble. Not many athletes can drop the Undertaker like that. Uh-oh. Kane could finish here. Shot by Kane. 
Kane. The monster's going to the top. Ah! He's dropping from the sky. There was no hesitation there. This one's all business. Oh, Kane is just relentless. Whoa, what a drop kick. Setting it up. He countered with a power bomb. Hey, he's going for it again. And that one hurt his hand. Undertaker counters it. Undertaker and his brother. Oh boy, he's got him up. Oh God, the big red machine driving him right on the. This could be it. This could be it. Three. King wins. Hey, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? Not as much as I'm gonna enjoy Kane beating your ass. Kane is the number one contender. Kane is going to Pittsburgh to fight Austin at the. journey. 16 men started. Four men made it here tonight. And there are two remaining. Ken Shamrock, 
and The Rock. Keep it clear, these are athletes. These are not old men stumbling around the ring. This is where athletes go, and it's going to determine the king of the ring. Well, this is what I think Shamrock's thinking. This is the biggest match in my life, and I have a bad ankle. He's worried about that, JR. The ankle's got to be an issue. And no doubt The Rock is very well aware that Shamrock had that ankle dinged earlier tonight. And The Rock better hope that ankle doesn't end up between those two gluteal cheeks of his. Took him right down with the Russian leg sweep. Bulldog headlock. Driving the opponent face first to the floor. Oh, big DDT. And he strikes with a quick kick. The two tie up, testing their strength. Oh, mama! Again, Shamrock showing the crafty side. Blocks the shot. Nice. Up. And there it is, the Russian leg sweep. What a counter by the Rock. The DDT. Shamrock counters. Oh, how do you do that? That'll give you a big old goose egg. Look at the strength behind those strikes. Survivor Series last year, Shamrock was a one-man band, eliminating two members of the nation, including The Rock. Now, when you say he was a one-man band, do you mean, like, he played his own instrument? <laughs> well, not quite. It was a figure of speech. You know what I mean. Shamrock's limping a bit, and we knew it would happen. And Rock's getting a bit frustrated. Rocky should be frustrated. Shamrock's showing us a lot in there. I'll tell you what, the athletes of WWE are beyond compare as far as playing when they're hurt, playing through an injury. And that's what Shamrock is doing here. You've done it. That's what separates champions from losers in the WWE. Not how much stroke you've got with the guy running the show, it's about who's got it in that ring. Well, does Shamrock have it? Does he have enough? We know he has it, but does he have enough left here? Shamrock setting. Now that's what this capacity crowd paid to see. He's getting out of there. This is showing you just how... Oh, baby, the dreaded ankle lock. Oh, my gosh. Do you submit? The dangerous Kim Shamrock. Shamrock! Shamrock! Kim Shamrock, King of the Ring! JR, maybe you should say that like five or six more times. Kim Shamrock, the 1998 King of the Ring. And he did it with his ankle lock submission. And he never, ever quit. Nothing was handed to Kim Shamrock. Nothing's been handed to him his entire life. And now he can say that he's the King of the Ring. He was born Michael Francis Foley on Long Island, New York. His manifestations as Dude Love and Cactus Jack are infamous, but none are more deranged than mankind. His scarred body, he's missing half an ear. He says that when he gets inside the steel, that he'll feel at home. Wait a minute, what, what's he doing? He's, he's climbing. Mankind is climbing the cage. He's supposed to start off inside the cage, isn't he? 
Yeah, the, the Undertaker has to have been introduced. What's he doing? Well, he's not very logical. He, the man needs therapy. Who knows what he's thinking? Finally. All right, here we go. There is a chill in the air that signals the arrival of the one, the only, phenom of the WWE, The Undertaker. You think mankind's daring The Undertaker to start this match up there? Well, if he is, I don't think mankind will have to ask twice. The pain that these two men are preparing to endure is a huge look. He's doing it. And The Undertaker says, if you want me up there, I'm going to come up there and whip your behind. There's nothing between Mankind and The Undertaker but the concrete floor and a man. Man, that was insane. I thought that was it. I thought that was going to be it. the cell so that the EMTs can get out here. The pain and misery that Mick Foley must be enduring is beyond belief. And somebody again is going to say, oh yeah, well they know how to fall. Give me a damn break. you got to be kidding me. No way. How in the hell is he standing? Mankind wants to go back up. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing here. Oh my gosh, if he throws him off the other side, that's it. Oh, did you see that knee? Look at him block the attack. And that punch lands far. Call the paramedics. The backbreaker is in effect. Man, come. And he hits the DDT. Just planning. Just driving the head to the floor.
elbow drop. Now that's how submission skills on display with his snapmare butterfly. He gets out. And that one dropped it. Looking to make someone rest in peace. The Undertaker did it. I tell you what, folks, in over 25 years, I have never, ever witnessed anything that even closely resembles what we have just witnessed. These two men gave you everything in their body. They gave you their soul here tonight. And these people are standing and cheering for the effort, for the desire, for what they have just seen from two phenomenal athletes. Well, we need to get some medical attention out here right now. This has been the most ungodly match. And here we go. Let's get it on here. The match can only end when one man draws first blood on his opponent. That means no disqualifications and no pinfalls. Yeah, that's right. These guys are going to try to bust each other open right away here. Austin has a badly infected elbow. He was laid up in a hospital for three days last week with staph infection in that arm. He had over a 100-degree fever for a couple of days. He may not admit it, but there's no way in hell that he can be even close to 100% here. Oh, man! What impact from that suplex! And the monster reverses it. Oh gosh, Kane's just brutal. He might have a fractured rib. Stone Cold reversed it. He was in a must counter situation and he did it. A big shoulder block. What a sneaky, vindictive move. call for that. I think you'd have to be crazy not to be scared of the big red machine. What a boot! And down goes Austin. Kane setting it up. Ouch! Nothing but misery for the competitors in this matchup. You know, one thing I just noticed is that there's almost no exposed skin on Kane. Just that right arm. Austin, on the other hand, is completely exposed. And he can bleed. We've seen that before. You know, at the very least, that leather mask on Kane will offer a lot of protection. That's right. That's a huge disadvantage for Stone Cold. Those are some nice blocks there. And hits him away. Wow. Austin's just opening a can. A spectacular counter by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Blocks the shot. Nice. Oh, mama. Great reversal by Steve Austin. He just turned him inside out. Nailed with that boot. That rattled Stone Cold's teeth. Austin's in trouble. Oh, my God. Look who's coming out here. Oh, good God. Tell me it's not. That's mankind with a chair. There's no disqualifications in this match. There's no referee either. What an enormous back body drop. Spinebuster, stone cold, driving the back of 
Oh, to the ground. Missed him. around the two lock up jockeying for position look at him block the attack Clothesline, just devastating. Nice move there by Kane to reverse it. Oh, this could be it. Oh, the big red monster. Destructive. Oh, no. Kane, no. Blocks it. a bad staff infection in that right elbow but he'll accept what happened and say that he has no excuses but the reality is his opponent did not draw first blood the undertaker drew first blood on austin and the title is on the line here tonight in cleveland and it's not going to be pretty but the gold is on the line what do you think mcmahon's thinking here he's got to be worried and there he goes crashing to the floor back into the ring now oh here we go again like a hammer missed him what a haymaker a huge right hand man you talk about crashing and burning that was ugly i mean that's how you pick your moment oh my god those steps Back into the ring now. Stone Cold reversed it. He was in a must-counter situation, and he did it. Oh, what a foul. Right hand. Austin spots the opening. What a devastating net break. Oh, my. What a worry of kicks. Oh, what a shot. Dodges out of the way. Austin, this could be bad. Beautiful suplex. Spinebuster. Stone Cold driving the back 
Taken to the ground. Kane with a devastating counter. And that attack was dodged. Oh! Kane felt all of that. Stone Cold just doesn't stop attacking. This crowd is jacked. This match is everything we thought it would be in the early going. Kane is taking... Austin's got it! Oh, nice block! Kane, seven feet, 325, the champion. Thanks again for that shocking victory at the King of the Ring courtesy of Kane's brother, The Undertaker. Oh, uh, come on, Kane. Repeat history here tonight. Yep. Austin, no! The Spear sends him straight south. Here's the body press. There's the cover. One, two, three. Turn around, Ray. Nice catch. Wow. And that sport reversal there by the big red machine, Kane. Great reversal by Steve Austin. Ouch. Seizes the opportunity. No way! He's going for the pin. Two, two three, three. And Stone Cold wins the Here's your winner and new WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin has just regained the WWE title. Oh, poor Mr. McMahon. Oh, hell yeah. Just 
doesn't stop attacking. Kane 
Reigns setting it up. A lot of force there. What a shot. Not the most effective striking here. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Look at the eyes of Kane. Oh, man. This is it. Kane destroyed him. Hold it up. End over end. You hear how his leg connected? What height on that leg drop? was coming. Mankind's skull has been cracked open. Uh-oh. Kane could finish here. Oh, no. Kane's got the neck. Some big man. Oh! Stunner from Austin. No, no holes barred. Anything goes. Balls count anywhere in New York City. And mankind's done a lot of controversial things, but this may be professional suicide. And now, if mankind wins. Does he get to keep both titles for himself? How the hell should I know? But in this two-on-one match, I don't think that's a situation we're going to have to worry about. It's a big-time advantage here. And in the wars that mankind has been in this summer, you have to wonder if he's got all his faculties. I don't think he ever had them. And he's getting out of there. Again, he goes for that weapon. Here we go, outside of the ring. And there are no countouts in this match. And here we go. Oh, and another vicious blow with that object. Look at him block the attack. Oh, man. A huge jaw jack and drop kick. And he gets in another shot with that weapon. Good Lord. Another shot with that foreign object. Mankind read that and countered. Oh, clothesline. Mankind, very crafty there with the reversal. Good time impact. Now you're trying to tell me a compassionate man like Mr. McMahon is enjoying this? Yes, I am. And I'm not blaming the Outlaws. Hey, they signed for a tag team match. They're here to take care of business. Billy Gunn's got him in trouble. Just think, the Wizard McMahon is right, and Mankind wins this thing single-handedly. What history would that be, JR? Well, it would be significant, no doubt about it. Billy Gunn looking to pick it to the house. Hand. I don't like that. And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. He 
He's bringing in the ladder. Back into the ring now. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Interesting to see what the strategy will be early on here. For Austin, you gotta think he's gotta work on the vertical base of the seven foot challenger. Well, I think The Undertaker would like to rip Austin's arm off and beat him over the head with it. And the same for Austin. Here he goes, he's got his opponent laid out. Well, apparently, very little of this match will take place in. Oh, I don't like the looks of this, JR. They're right out here on there. Good Lord, what an impact! Right through the table! Elbow connects! Back into the ring they go. Oh, what a foul! Right hand!
And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Austin's in trouble. The speed. The collision. Where's the rattlesnake going? Oh. Undertaker, way too experienced to get caught by that. Austin, this could be bad. Spinebuster. And that's a beautiful counter by The Undertaker. The two lock up. Jockeying for position. Oh, across the knee and crack the backbreaker. Big elbow. And that one hurt his hand. Austin's got it. He's really going. Texas Rattles. How did he do it? is going to change hands a number of reasons but principal among them is this new stipulation that was added just a moment ago and that is undertaker you are prohibited from defeating your brother kane in this match and kane you are absolutely prohibited from defeating your brother the undertaker you won't do things the easy way like Undertaker and Kane. You've got to do things your way. And on Sunday night, September 27, Austin, and there's been an announcement that you are no longer the WWE Champion. I want you to remember one thing. Vince McMahon didn't screw Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold screwed Stone Cold. Oh my gosh, look at this! And The Undertaker and Kane now providing the protection for Mr. McMahon. Yeah, look at Mr. McMahon. He's orchestrating the whole thing. The master plan comes... Oh, look at Mr. McMahon. He's mocking Austin. There's absolutely no way that Austin can survive against these monsters. Sounds and now it's time to see if Mr. McMahon's master plan comes to fruition. Ah, uh, yes, we will. Will we see the physical, mental, and emotional breakdown of Stone Cold Steve Austin here tonight? Kane almost destroyed him with that counter. Stone Cold reversed it. He was in a must counter situation, he took too much time. And boy, did he pay the price. And he goes for the neck break. Missed him. Ow, what an elbow. And that was vintage King. What a clothesline. Oh, no. Talk about getting launched out of the ring. Oh, my. Just bursting those capillaries in their chest. Remember, unlike normal triple threat matches, the Undertaker cannot pin Kane 
And Kane cannot pin The Undertaker. And nobody can come out here to help Austin or else they'll cost him the championship. Mr. McMahon has painted a huge target on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, the elbow connects. can overcome this two-on-one advantage, it's the Texas Rattlesnake. Well, that might be, but this isn't your normal two-on-one advantage. This is Kane and Undertaker, the most destructive force in history. It's two demons. Two demons, I tell you, against the champion. Yeah, well, get ready to kiss the championship goodbye, Austin. He dropped him right on his head with a DDT. Oh, yes. Here we go. All you guys have to do is coexist for 10 seconds. Double choke slam. Double choke slam. Austin has lost the title. Winner of this bout and new WWE Champion. But who's the champion? has lost the WWE title. Here we go. Shamrock, Rock, and Mankind. And Mankind has more experience than both these two combined when it comes to the steel cage. Mankind has been in there with thumbtacks, barbed wire, and just about every other damn thing. And this crowd here has been chanting for the Rock all day. Well, you know why they're chanting for The Rock, don't you? Why is that? Because they know their role. And that one hurt his hand. The steel makes its introduction. Down it goes. What a lethal series of kicks. Mankind's in trouble. He uses his opponent's momentum on that one. Out of mankind. How much force was delivered there? Oh man, he landed right on his neck from that German suplex. They lock up here. No, The Rock reverses it. What a kick that was. official tonight on Heat. After last Monday's chaos, where The Undertaker and Kane got involved, the magnanimous Mr. McMahon was so gracious. No, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I thought you were going to blame Mr. McMahon for that. 
that was not Mr. McMahon's fault. Well, he did say he wasn't going to be held responsible for what The Undertaker and King might do. What? You don't believe him? Oh, yeah, King. I believe him. I got a mortgage, you know. I gotta believe him. The surfboard being applied. Oh, such a pink. There's no doubt who this crowd, this record-setting crowd, is for. And that's The Rock. Yeah, and I can't figure out why. You think it's the people's elbow? Or you know what? Maybe it's the people's eyebrow. When he raises that, the people go nuts. Or, I got one for you. Maybe it's his athleticism and his in-ring ability. That could count for something, you know. Nah, it's the eyebrow. And this would-be escape artist may be regretting climbing the cage. Oh, boy. That's one way to keep him in the cage. Big DDT. out at one. Hey, what's going on? Oh, gosh, there's no telling how much damage that did. Oh, that almost got to hurt. Shamrock with an impactful shot there. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. Bam! Oh, look out, don't go up there. It's really difficult. The incomparable Rock is the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Man, what a hell of a man. Oh, this match saw it all, JR. It was the first time I've ever seen a triple threat match inside a steel cage. And folks, it was a dandy. Undertaker and his brother Kane. They want the title and they want it badly. What price will they pay to get it around their waist here tonight? And a dark cloud hangs above the head of Austin. Will he raise the hand of the winner or will he be fired tonight? Well, we know this. We saw Austin tell these guys they can do whatever they want to to each other. So I guess we've got a no disqualification match now. Undertaker counters it. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Line close line. He's all his weight on that leg drop. Oh, Kane blocks it. And man, did he make him pay. Connects. Ouch! What fantastic extension on that leg drop. Kane with a devastating counter. Man, DDT right on his face. They are locked up. This is intense right here. Oh, that elbow's got to hurt. And he hits the DDT. Just planning. Just driving the head to the floor. Big elbow. And that punch lands far. And there's the leg drop. Kane in trouble here. Make no mistake, that was a debilitating clothesline. Kane almost destroyed him with that counter. Collar and elbow tie up. Back elbow. Austin certainly in none traditional referee attire. Right. And I know for a fact that Mr. McMahon bought him a referee shirt and referee pants to wear. Some nice slacks. You really know a lot about Mr. McMahon, don't you? Well, I know he gives people opportunities. 
He gave Stone Cold the opportunity to do things the right way, the easy way. And that's a beautiful counter by The Undertaker. The Undertaker keeps getting closer to taking the title. To see Stone Cold humble himself. You think The Undertaker wants to see Stone Cold humble himself? The Undertaker's concerned about one thing, becoming champion. The same thing that I'm sure his brother Kane's concerned about. Oh my gosh! Hold it up, end over end! Nice move there by Kane to reverse it. Look out, he's got a chair! Oh my god, what a chair shot! That was vicious! He's just brutalizing his opponent. What's he do? Wait, what is going on here? And Austin's not doing a damn thing. Look out! A stunner! Austin got the stunner! Austin's counting! What? Austin just counted Kane and Undertaker down. the winner you're fixing to be the loser you're gonna lose your job oh look at this little face off shamrock's in some sort of zone but mankind's in a zone of his own the twilight zone he stays there all the time well there's no doubt that mankind isn't as well conditioned as the sculptured physique of shamrock Mankind certainly is not versed in as many fighting disciplines as Shamrock either. But you can never judge Nick Foley's heart. His heart is immense. That is such a cool move. Wow. Now that's how you thwart the attack. Oh, man. Dropped right on the head. Another huge slam. Oh, mama! And that wild attack won't find a home. Oh, my gosh! Jumped right on the back of the head. Blocks it. Will you look at that? A vicious and more importantly, intentional fight. Oh man, you take a shot like that and you feel it for weeks. Look at him block the attack. Shamrock counters. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. That elbow did some damage. Ken Shamrock is being out-wrestled here tonight. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's gonna be on his diet for the foreseeable future. the 
escape. Reverses it. Oh no! Shamrock's got him! A textbook suplex. Bam! It's like I say, you give mankind lemons and he smashes them over your head. Big opportunity for Ken Shamrock. Can you believe the power? The popping of the hips? What a well-timed belly-to-belly suplex. This rivalry really escalated last month at breakdown. When Shamrock, Mankind, and The Rock met inside a steel cage to determine the number one contender for the championship. And nobody enjoys doing battle. Again, Shamrock's goal is to dominate, humiliate, and to make Mankind submit. Well, usually I'd say that's no problem for Shamrock, but Mankind is so crazy, I'm not sure he can submit. Mankind, very crafty there with the reversal. Shamrock's in trouble. Oh, man, what an attack. Oh, he's in trouble now. Back into the ring they go. is a must-win situation for The Rock. He's got to beat Shamrock for the title. And you know the only way a title changes hands is by pinfall or submission. Everything The Rock has worked for, and he earned his way into the Deadly Game Tournament at Survivor Series, is on the line here tonight. Well, I was about to say earlier that The Rock being the number one contender would have earned him a first-round bye at the Survivor Series Tournament. Now, he might not even be in it. Well, The Rock's popularity may have just cost him as far as the evil Mr. McMahon's concerned. say this when you own the only game in town the only real game in town as mr mcmahon does you can do any damn thing you want and that's what we're experiencing here tonight and many of us have been verbally abused by the boss but the rock may have to pay a much higher price well, i mean the rock was the number one contender when he walked into this ring and now, when Mr. McMahon comes out here all of a sudden and says if he doesn't, the referee call him. You smell what the rock. Is oh no! A disqualification does the rock no good. He didn't win the title. The rock's not going to make it to Survivor Series. It's all on the line. Rock's job 
not to mention his place back in the Deadly Game Tournament. And The Rock's going to try to make it short work of the world's strongest man, the 400-pound Mark Henry. Well, I think in The Rock's condition, that's the only chance he's got. I mean, he's been busted in the back of his head. If he doesn't get this over fast, he won't last. Gets out of the way of that attack. An incredible series of moves there. Nobody's budging an inch in this one. The neck break. Ow, what an elbow. Big right hand. Now that's how you thwart the attack. Dodges out of the way. An elbow. No telling what impact that might have had on the neck and spine. to get up. It takes more and more effort. They re-enter the ring now. Man! DDT'd right on his face! The great one. The rock. Oh my gosh! And he strikes with a quick kick. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks! They lock up. His attack misses. He's in Pierce. This match is just as much about the fans as it is about The Rock. Mr. McMahon cannot put his hands on each and every person in this arena. Hey, he's going good grief. Rock has him up. The Rock got him. This could be. Yes, I love it when The Rock does this. between The Rock and Mr. McMahon's Hitch Rock has him up. Rock battle. Rock battle. This could be it. This could be it. Gets three. The Rock wins. The oh, yeah. Can you smell what The Rock has cooked up for the big boss man? How do you like that, Mr. McMahon? Well, you know that's not fair. Boss man wasn't even ready. Hey, Mr. McMahon. The Rock told me to tell you that he just beat your henchman in about a minute. Oh, uh, Mr. McMahon's not going to be very happy about this. Both men want to win this match as soon as possible. They'll need to save their energy 
to defeat The Undertaker in the semifinals. Well, I'll tell you this. If you're The Rock, even though you're on the offensive, you always have to be thinking defensively. You do not want to let yourself get caught in that ankle lock submission hole. And that move can come from anywhere at any time. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? Championship. Well, what do you expect? Mr. McMahon doesn't like these people anymore. And The Rock is the people's champion. And he strikes with a quick kick. It doesn't get more painful than that. Interference 
will advance. And McMahon has to be livid. It looks as if McMahon assigned the boss man to take out The Rock to make sure The Rock did not advance. I'll tell you this, Big Boss Man can say goodbye to his rear end because he won't have one after Mr. McMahon gets through chewing it. The Boss Man was tossing the nightstick, apparently, to Shamrock. But The Rock got in the way of the pass. So now, The Rock moves on. And this is going to be a nasty match. There's no doubt about it, folks. Not a catch-as-catch-can classic with two big seven-foot, 300-pounders. They're going to pound and pound on each other. You know, I'm not even sure if Kane wants to win the championship. He might be way more focused on simply beating on his brother. Ouch! Kane almost destroyed him with that counter. Taker reverses it. Kane with a devastating counter. Undertaker counters it. Oh, man, what a neck breaker. You know, when Mr. McMahon made this tournament, he gave Kane and The Undertaker buys in the first round, hoping, I think, that they would destroy each other on the way to the championship. Yeah, Mr. McMahon laid awake many nights planning out this tournament. If the winner can somehow advance in one piece, King, we might be looking at the next champion. Well, I'm going to have to say that if The Undertaker advances, he's going to be my new pick. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. Oh, mama! There has been nothing scientific about this contest. Just two big bulls saying who's going to blink first. And you know with Paul Bearer in Undertaker's corner, the uh oh Undertaker may be thinking old school. He is! Undertaker looking to make someone rest in peace. in the finals of the Deadly Game Tournament to determine a new champion. Well, I think that Mr. McMahon could probably deal one way or the other with The Undertaker if he were a champion. I think he probably feels like he can negotiate with him. Yeah, because McMahon has a lot in common with Paul Bear. Same kind of ethics. Now he knows he can deal with Mankind as the champion. Well, that's obvious, King. Now he's just counting that The Undertaker should be able to put The Rock away. Mankind's been relegated to no more than village idiot here from the manipulations of Mr. McMahon. And you can't blame Mick Foley for it. Nice, well-placed kick to the ribs. Taker's in trouble. Ouch! to the floor. That suplex was picture perfect. Undertaker counters it. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh my gosh! Do you think is going on in Mr. McMahon's limousine right now? Do you think they popped the cork on a cold one? I mean, it's gotta be party time. Oh yeah. 
I'm serious, very jubilant. <laughs> and when the word comes, you know they've got telephones in Mr. McMahon's limousine. They'll phone him with the results. Oh, they call him Collette. Samoan Brock. He's got him hooked. Man, did he teed right on his face? Oh my, what a flurry of kicks. And did you hear the impact on? I can smell what he's. Here we are. I don't think The Rock is aware that Mr. McMahon is back here. And of course, mankind probably wouldn't be aware if he knew. Huh? Poor old Mick. Bless his deranged heart. You have to wonder sometimes if he even knows what's going on. Of course he knows. With Mr. McMahon back, he's now moments away from becoming the next champion. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. That chair shot landed. Oh, my God. Relentless with that steel chair. He's left the ring again, playing mind games with his opponent. Oh, that chair shot landed. Okay, you've done driving that chair into him again. Oh, again with the chair. He's getting tenderized right now, like a piece of meat. One kick there, but a combination of blows. Man, did he teed right on his face? Oh, that elbow's gotta hurt. An elbow. Oh, clothesline. Oh, a stiff. And I mean, Stiff shot it. Great counter by The Rock. And he hits the DDT. Just planning, just driving the head to the floor. And it appears to be test of strength here. Mankind! Very crafty there with the reversal. Submission holds locked in, and he's in big trouble. on his head with a DDT. He's in big trouble here. Pinned in the corner and 
eating haymakers. Here come the... And here's some more punishment in the corner. It's like I say, you give mankind... Lip it is inhuman at times, the amount of punishment that mankind can withstand. It is inhuman, but you know what? Mick Foley is the happiest guy in the WWE. He gets to be psychotic and get paid for it. And he's like, well, it's like he's got a father figure in Mr. McMahon. Well, speaking of family, some say that The Rock's heritage, his grandfather, the late high chief Peter Maivia, was a fierce gladiator. Had a warrior's heart, no doubt about it. His father, Rocky Johnson, was a tag team champion. This kid's destiny is to become a champion. He calls himself the people's champion. And the people love The Rock. The referee will let them fight all over. Do whatever they want to each other. We have to have a winner. Yeah, because Mr. McMahon guaranteed it. And that referee doesn't want to get fired by disappointing Mr. McMahon. The eyebrow... out of mankind. Rock has him up. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. It's rock bottom time. The Rock climbing the ropes. Whoa. He hits the high risk move. To take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? And those are some nice blocks there. Mankind read that and countered. The Rock is just relentless. Narrowly avoiding the attack. What a series. Nobody's backing down here. He might have broke his neck with that DDT. Rock headed to the top rope again. Oh, no. The wrist pays off. There was no hesitation there. This one's all business. Absorbing punishment here. The Rock is not letting up the attack. Oh, big DDT. Hey, he's going. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Rock taking advantage. He used his opponent's momentum on that one. Are we about to see the most electrifying move in sports entertainment?
Samoan drop. Bam! He missed. Big DDT. He's heading back up. Smelling the rocket. Will you look at the elevation of that rock bottom? The impact. Oh my gosh. Ouch. And the rocks got the sharpshooter locked in. Oh, Mr. McMahon's sweating bullets over there. Oh man. Sharpshooter. There's a sharpshooter. And McMahon says to ring the bell. What? Wait a minute. Your winner and new WWE Champion, The Rock. What the hell? They were in on it all along. They screwed us all. I know. I know you're saying, I can't believe my eyes. I don't know what's going on. You know what? Seeing is believing. You can believe that Vince McMahon didn't screw the people tonight. The people screwed the people. Whoa! You can also believe that each and every one of you are just as pathetic and gullible as mankind. Mankind's very confused. Poor son of a gun. I would like to publicly state on behalf of the McMahon family that we are so proud here tonight. Stone Cold was utterly screwed in this very ring. If there's one man who has any more contempt for Stone Cold other than myself and all of you, it has to be the man who absolutely loathes and detests each and every one of you, and that is The Rock. The Rock is great, but Dad, to lose this match, I had to be pinned or submit, and The Rock did neither. Mick, you don't get it, right? Get this, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the world wrestling champion, the corporate champion, Shawn Michaels has taken a seat right by us here. The championship is on the line. The corporate champion, The Rock, who sold out on the people. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There ain't no wait a minute, King. He turned us back on the people. That's what he did. Look, just because he kisses a little butt, that doesn't mean he sold out. It's the smart thing to do. Corporate champion. What a counter by The Rock. Ow, what an elbow. No, The Rock reverses it. What a knife edge chop. He lights up his chest with that chop. And that attack was dodged. Oh my, what a Samoan drop. An elbow. Pura Corona. Wow, what a drop kick. His leg connected? What a haymaker! A huge right hand! Down goes the rock! Oh gosh, there's no telling how much damage that did! Rock's in trouble! Ouch! Well, I'm gonna tell you something. The rock defeated mankind at Survivor Series fair and square. I saw it with my own eyes! Well, then you need to get your eyes checked. X-Pac taking advantage here. The Rock reverses. The two tie up, testing their strength. And there's the elbow. An elbow. X-Pac measuring the champion. The Rock, his ethics 
may have been sold, X-Pac will not give up. This kid has so much heart. Boy, I've got a lot of time for X-Pac, but not so much for the X-Pac. Versus Mankind. Mankind wants to take it to the corporate champion. And Mr. McMahon looks to be extremely upset. Well, Mr. McMahon's going to be hanging out here by ringside, so you got to mind your P's and Q's, JR. King, you got to admit it. It was the biggest double cross at Survivor Series. Mr. McMahon welcomed Mankind into the family. Into the family. And then he turned on him. Well, Mr. McMahon told Mankind he was gullible, and he believed him. The Rock reverses. An elbow. Big right hand. And he unloads with everything he's got. Oh, just a fantastic suplex. At ringside, McMahon looks on a dire, desperate look on his face. The championship could change hands tonight. Well, just take a look at the difference between these two. One is nice looking, young, well built, tremendous athlete. And the other one is Mankind. I'm telling you, he's a half wit. Well, not even that much. But Mankind deserves to wear the championship. Oh, hard suplex. Rock's in trouble. Oh, what a swinging neck breaker. There. Mankind capitalizing. Oh, man, that's a power. Mankind. Great counter. It's like I say, you give Mankind lemons and he smashes them over your head.
by The Rock. <laughs> Mankind read that and countered. Atomic drop. And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The counter. And he hits the pile drive. He sees it. Uh-oh. Mankind is setting up. Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. An incredible series of moves there. Nobody's budging an inch in this one. Ooh, Kane looks hurt after that one. Kane in trouble here. Relentless. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Huge shot to the big red machine. I 
don't believe it. Mankind is in a street fight with Mr. McMahon. Oh, no. Help. Somebody help. Why in the world would Mr. McMahon make this challenge? Oh, this is awful. We need help. Somebody call 911. It's like I say, you give mankind lemons, and he smashes them over your head. Bam! Bulldog headlock. Face first to the floor. Knee lift. Got him. I'll tell you, never hesitate when you're in the ring with the chairman. Nicely avoided there. Right to the chin with the knee. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Mankind, very crafty there with the reversal. Well, that took something out of Mankind. Ow, what an elbow. Mr. McMahon in trouble. Mr. McMahon on the receiving end of an old-fashioned beatdown. Uh oh Mankind has him where he wants him. Oh, man, what a knee lift. Nobody home for that one. Get some orderlies. Get a straitjacket. Put this lunatic away. Mr. McMahon is going to taste Sucko again. Oh, look out, Mr. McMahon. McMahon is getting shoved into a trunk. And there's The Rock. Yes. Thank goodness. Oh, Rock. Lay some smack down on him, Rock. The Rock saving Mr. McMahon. Oh, thank God. No, not on the car. Rock bottom on the car. Rock bottom on the car. So it's Falls Count Anywhere for the Hardcore Championship. Folks, anything goes. Yeah, Boss Man's going to show him what hard times are like, and it's going to be hardcore. Boss Man won the Hardcore Championship for Mankind last week. And if you can defeat Mankind in a hardcore match, that's saying something. Trash can coming into play again. Oh, no. Looks like he grabbed the trash can. What's it again with the garbage can? Oh, that trash can's got to hurt. Whoa, boss man being knocked around. The veteran big boss man with a nice reversal. Uh-oh, look where he's going again. Man. He's still down after that move. Oh, my God. What a chair shot. And that attack was gone. And here we go. Back into the ring. He might have a fractured rib. Fast body drop. I'm almost positive I just heard his spine snap on that one. Oh my, the force behind that headbutt was incredible. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Man's got a weapon in his hand, I don't like that. Again with the chair, the chair landing again. Oh, that should do it. I mean, how much punishment do you have to do in this match? Those steps are reinforced steel, and he's trying to use them as a weapon. Whoa, the 
steps being used as a weapon. Can we end this match now? Again with the steel steps. Man's in trouble. I venture to say, Mr. McMahon won't be too happy if Boss Man loses the Hardcore Championship tonight to Road Dog. Don't worry about it. He's going to deal out some hard time. Nice counter there by Road Dog. I think after that, I'll be searching in my tights for a white flag I can wave. And friends and neighbors, that's poor Boss Man. Black jacket and all has a little more protection than Road Dog. Oh, yeah. Come on, boss man. Beat him like the dog that he is. What a shot. A big clubbing blow. That one went wide. Road Dog finding the opening. Rocks 
Brock's in trouble. That suplex was picture perfect. Mankind punishing The Rock. I tell you, King, I can't think of two more opposite men in this Mankind. I tell you what, King, over his 15-year career, what's Mankind doing? is underway. Folks, there are no pinfalls. There are no countouts. There are no disqualifications. No time limit. The corporate team has been barred. Rock in control, and the champion is reeling. Oh, come on, Rock. Put him away. On the announce table now. Was close to 600 pounds and the table exploded i knew that mankind had gained weight this is mick foley's type of match yeah because he's an idiot mick foley has slept on hotel floors slept in cars to get to center stage to get to this type of match nobody has ever had the dedication of mick foley the love of what he does all he ever wanted to do is hold the championship and hear the people cheer. And that's what's happening here tonight. Look out, he's found a chair. Oh, and that one got him. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Missed him. And he's toast. The Rock in high impact mode, dealing out the punishment here tonight. His strike is nothing but air. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. It's like I say, you give mankind lemons and he smashes them over your head. Oh, mama. A huge elbow. Face first. 
Rivers to the floor. Oh, no! A chair! Oh, my gosh! What's he? He's placing his head in a chair! He's placing his head in a chair! Oh, the elbow connects! to the head. I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Stop the damn thing! King, they gotta end this! 
Yes. Okay. I'll admit it. That's enough. Mick Foley, say I quit. Come on, Mick. Just say it. Yeah, come on, Mick. Say it. Say it. King, nobody's going to think any less of Mick Foley if he says it now. Okay, okay, I agree. He needs to say it. Please, Mick, say I quit. The championship is... They are the only person that can stop this thing is Mick Foley himself. Mr. McMahon, if you're back there, please, please do something. Now the Rock guarantee to the millions and millions of the Rock fans that he'd make that SOB scream I quit. Mankind, your monkey ass says I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. What? He said it. Now get your ass over there and award The Rock the championship. The Rock you makes me sick. Your winner and new WWE champion, The Rock. I don't know if I agree with the way he did it, but we have a new champion. Mankind has that soccer one. Oh, down in the gullet! Mankind! Put that paralyzing hole down in the gullet! Rock going down to the concrete! Mankind really hasn't cinched in. That paralyzing maneuver of mankind is taking its effect on the rock. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna run over it. Mankind's gonna run over rock. That's what he's gonna do. now steel cage match triple h versus kane in order to win you must go over the top of the cage both feet touching the floor yeah you can go over the top or through the door and this is what it's going to be like in less than two weeks saint valentine's day massacre austin mcmahon in the cage and if mr mcmahon can get out of the cage austin forfeits his right to face the champion at WrestleMania.
an expert reversal there by the Big Red Machine Kane. Triple H with a beautiful reversal. He lights up his chest with that shot. Triple H so accurate with these shots. DDT, DDT, good Lord, what impact. He fights it off. King, I find it rather ironic that two men who loathe each other will meet each other on St. Valentine's Day in a steel cage. Yeah, there'll be no hearts. Triple H trying to gain revenge. It was Kane who was in on the ruse that fractured DX. Well, Triple H better be careful. That is Kane in the cage, and he's nobody to be toyed with. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? The big red machine's gone down. Triple H spots the opening. Oh, and that's exactly why these steel cage matches are so dangerous. Whoa, whoa! This could be it. Triple H executed that move to perfection. He's booking. He's there. He goes right up the and he, he's booking it. He's going there. He goes right up the cage. Escape attempt cost him. And he strikes with the knee. And he's trying. He's, he's going for a quick escape. There, and he's trying for the earth. He's, he's going for a quick escape. Okay, he's out of the cage. Now he has to do is climb down to the floor. Oh, we got to touch the floor. Triple H wins! Triple H has upset Kane! Triple H has exacted the revenge he was looking for! Oh no! I hope this isn't what happens to Mr. McMahon in two weeks!
rings, and here we go. How in the hell is Mr. McMahon even moving, King? Well, I'll tell you, it's the hatred, the hatred that Mr. McMahon has for Austin. That's what's driving him on. And they both come crashing down. Oh, my gosh, big-time impact. You'll have to do more than that to pin the government mule tough Steve Austin. And he unloads with everything he's got. Wow. Austin's just opening a can. And he strikes with a quick kick. Stone Cold turns things around. Look at this. Big Bulldog. Shot from Stone Cold. And that attack was dodged. Do you see that grin on the face of Stone Cold? Yeah, he's sick. I think Austin got Mr. McMahon right in the heart. Mr. McMahon has such a big heart. Oh, no. That did it. Oh, man, what, a, what a shot to the face. Oh, the chairman isn't going to like that. He's got him up. Mr. McMahon on the receiving end of an old-fashioned beatdown. And he strikes with the knee. Austin's got it. That's it. He's out. Austin, no. There he goes. He's booking it. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Mr. McMahon reversed it. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. For a guy without any significant training, Mr. McMahon is a heck of a fighter. A spectacular counter by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Putting the knee to his opponent. Unloading with that kick to the midsection. Doing a lot of damage to the body. Bulldog headlock. Driving the opponent face first. Hey, he's going for it again. That's it. He's done. No way. A perfect stone cold stutter. That's it. It's over. He's going for, and he's trying for the early escape. There he goes. Right up the cage. He's booking it. just won't let McMahon have the final say. And if Mr. McMahon can somehow get out of the cage, Stone Cold has no one to blame but himself. He could have won it twice. Mr. McMahon's a mess. Oh, how much must Mr. McMahon hate Stone Cold to endure this? To shoot Austin the double bird. Oh, what a wow. right hand. Mr. McMahon, the bionic redneck Steve Austin sees the opening. Man, there's no getting up from that. Austin, no! Stone Cold Stunner! Stone Cold Stunner! Austin stuns McMahon! And now a little bit of lip service. Quit cussing him, Stone Cold! Quit cussing him! Wait a minute! My God, King! That's, that's all right! Good Lord, King, he's, he's huge! Yes! This Mastodon has helped Mr. McMahon to his feet! Oh my goodness, this guy's got to be over seven feet tall! You knew the boss had to have Stone Cold made it too long. Well, I knew it. You didn't know it. He hates Austin so bad. Look at this. He wants Austin.
asked him to suffer like he suffered tonight. Yes, this is great. Austin is the man in. Austin into the cage. The cage gave way. Austin's down. Austin's out of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin's going to WrestleMania. And here we go. And first off, Stone Cold, congratulations on going to WrestleMania. You're damn right I'm going to WrestleMania. I told everybody I would go to WrestleMania, and that's exactly what happened. Vince got his ass in the ring, and he got his ass kicked. And now we're going to find out who you're going to face. Will it be Rock, or will it be Mankind? The title hangs above the ring. These men have to get a ladder and retrieve the prize. And then you meet Stone Cold at WrestleMania, and I whip your damn ass. Well, this one certainly isn't going to be pretty. You're damn right it won't be pretty, son. And I'm going to say right now, I really don't care who I face at WrestleMania because I give both these guys all the credit in the world. If it's Mankind, he's one tough SOB. If it's The Rock, then I'll put my Rudy Poo foot right up your Rock's climbed the ladder. Mankind's climbing. These superstars fighting beneath. The WWE Championship. Mankind will not quit. Come on, Rock. Reach up there. Reach up, Rock. Oh, no. Sacco. Mr. Sacco is in the mouth of the Rock. Oh, what the hell. Paul White is here. He's got Mankind. Oh, jump slam. Off a 10-foot high ladder. And the Rock climbing the ladder. That's it for Mankind. Oh, yes. He's there. The Rock. The Rock's going to WrestleMania as champion. Your winner and new WWE champion, The Rock. Mankind was robbed of the title. It's Austin Rock, WrestleMania 15. And here we go. And Austin's going to need to watch out for Mankind and Paul White. Mankind's going to have to watch out for Paul White and Steve Austin. Because if Mankind can win this match, he's going to the WrestleMania main event and be the second special guest referee. You know, these guys don't care about each other. They don't care about their own welfare. But what they do care about is going to WrestleMania. Well, let's get one thing straight. The Rock is the great one. The Rock is the champion, and he's going to WrestleMania to fight that piece of trailer park trash, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Boy, mankind's tough. Tougher than a $2 steak. He's very hard to scout. And he wants this special referee spot at WrestleMania more than anybody. Stop, stop talking about mankind like he means something. He's a jabroni, a flunky, a hamburger, a piece of crap. But we are talking about WrestleMania. We're talking about WrestleMania 15. The Rock, Stone Cold, without a shadow of a doubt. The most electrifying. Without question, Paul White's been sent out here by Mr. McMahon to let Austin and Mankind eliminate each other. Uh-oh. I can't believe it. I got out of 
down there. Divine intervention. She may have to submit here. Referee asking. That has to be a miracle that he got out of that. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Oh, mama! He's got the crab cinched in, leaning back, applying as much pressure as possible. Stone Cold's been dropped. He's applying the pressure. Submission locked in. Guest referee. I can't believe it. He just got out of that. And that one hurt his hand. Wow, what a sequence. Using the time-tested atomic... He's got it locked in. Will this be it? I imagine our ref is happy to be looking at a submission from this angle for a change. I can't believe he got out of that. Blocks the shot. Nice. Blocks it. Man, the rattlesnake takes a textbook hold. And this is all but over. Our guest referee watching closely. No way did he just get out of that. He almost beheaded his opponent with that. Oh, submission. The hole's locked. The referee is watching this one closely. in the history of Raw. Austin, Big Show, live right here tonight. Mankind is the special guest referee. It's the biggest show because it's The Rock Show. The Rock is out here, the great one. <laughs> it's the biggest against the baddest. Let's see what happens. Stone Cold with a quickness advantage. Big Show with a strength advantage. Look at The Rock, and you're talking about a man who's ten times quicker and stronger than Stone Cold Steve Austin. And come WrestleMania, you're going to see The Rock prove it. Paul White and Austin laying the smack down on each other. Hey, shut your mouth. There's only one man who lays a smack down, you piece of trash. Oh, Paul White is just too strong. A very nice takedown there. And it appears to be a test of strength here. Oh, mama! Uh-oh, now you've done it. You made Paul White mad. Oh, my gosh! They lock up. here as the special referee in this. It was decided earlier tonight that there could only be one special referee at WrestleMania. So, Big Show and Mankind will face each other in a boiler room brawl to determine... Austin's got it! Look at him unloading with the Dez Press! The special guest referee doing a pretty good job here. What are you talking about? He's doing a good job. Mankind sucks as a referee. The Rock should be in there. He'd call it right down the middle. Well, Mankind just might be the referee at your match at WrestleMania. So you might want to get on his good side. Man's got a weapon in his hand. I don't like that. Oh, that chair shot landed. Man, 
The rattlesnake takes a huge shot. Oh, he's on the move again. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. Oh, man! Driving that steel chair right into the face! Austin and Big Show have hammered away at each other. This match was made by Mr. McMahon just six days before WrestleMania. The softened Austin up. And Rock, wouldn't it be a tainted victory for you if you win and Austin wasn't at 100%. Are you out of your ever-loving mind, JR? The Rock is gonna pin his candy ass. One, two, three. He's spending more time. Chair being wedged into the ropes. Evil intentions here. And here we go, back into the ring. What's Paul White have to do to get back into this one, King? Hey, what, why did he throw the, whoa, what a shot through that Austin, no! Going for the pin, here's, oh, that was close. Some might say closer than it should have been. We are definitely not seeing fair officiating from our guest referee. Oh, what a foul right hand. Oh, no. Talk about getting launched out of the ring. And roll back into the ring now. Elbow. Back into the ring now. Look at the intensity as they lock up. Oh, that should do it. Look at this. Big bulldog. Stone Cold. He's got another steel chair. Oh, he's an innovator with a steel chair. No way. A perfect Stone Cold stunner. That's it. It's over. We got a cover. Gets one. Gets three. Austin wins. So Paul Steve Austin has defeated Paul White. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Paul White is a 500 pound bag of monkey crap. And this Sunday at WrestleMania 15, Stone Cold Steve Austin won't have it half this easy when he goes one on one with a great one at the most electrifying WrestleMania of all time. is the former European champion. The King, I'll tell you, this isn't about the title for X-Pac. This is about X-Pac's way of life versus Shane McMahon's way of life. X-Pac is a product of the streets. Shane McMahon was born with a silver spoon buried in his mouth. This is personal for X-Pac. What are you talking about, JR? Sure, Greenwich is an exclusive town. The fire department doesn't even make house calls. But that's not Shane's fault. He came from the mean streets of Greenwich. Him and his entire posse. They lock up. This drop. What incredible agility. to the gut. McMahon's got him. And he snaps it off. The fearless. Uh oh. Oh, he got him. To take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Ah, my God, what a move. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Like a hammer. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing Shane and X-Pac finally one-on-one. -on -one. We thought we were going to see this last week in the street fight. But the Mean Street Posse showed up. Can Shane ever fight a battle by himself? What are you talking about? Shane!
was going to happen. I knew X Pac couldn't win this on his own. Uh oh, Triple H has him. and gentlemen, title is on the line. The Brahma Bull, the Rattlesnake, hooking it up here. This is a no disqualification match. It was made such by Mr. McMahon earlier tonight on Heat. And look at this place. It's filled with The Rock's millions and millions of fans. 20,276 have jam-packed this arena. And there's no telling where this one's going to end up with the title on the line. Well, we know one thing. Mankind won his boiler room brawl match against Big Show, but in the process, he was hurt so badly that he had to be sent to the hospital. Which is why our senior official is out here to call this match. A tremendous barrage, and he gets in another shot with that weapon. He just turned him inside out. Gotta hurt. Oh my gosh! Sit right into that steel post. Back into the ring now. in trouble. The Rock just can't get the momentum to swing his way. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. And the Rock counters it. What a DDT. Oh man, nasty DDT. his leg that heavily braced right knee oh yeah that did it right across that steel support holding the lights there and Austin may be hurt badly <laughs> oh yeah and the rock hasn't wasted any time King focusing in on that braced leg like a bullseye and that's why the rock is the champ the stakes cannot be any higher and that's thanks to Mr. McMahon Nobody's getting disqualified in this match. Uh oh. And the Rock's taking a little water break here. Oh! Total lack of respect shown by the champion. The Rock can do any damn thing he wants to, JR. Good God Almighty! This is a war! This is a war for the championship! And the carnage is indescribable here on the outside! Now go ahead and say it, JR. It's a slobber knocker! It damn sure is a slobber knocker! Heading back into the ring now.
Smashing Skull into the ground. What a body shot. What a counter by The Rock. The Rock reverses. Austin spots the opening. Oh, did you see the way his head planted into the floor off that pile driver? He pipes it off. And neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. And that attack was dodged. All right, in a bit of trouble here. And another kick to the gut. This one's turning ugly, folks. Oh my gosh, big time impact. Textbook suplex. Depressive combination of the bionic redneck Steve Austin sees the opening. Austin, no! There's a cover. That'll be two. Near fall for Austin. And this is where off the rock kicked out of the stunner. Austin is in shock. Look at this. Here comes Mr. McMahon. Hey, 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 you. Oh, look. Austin tells him he's number one. Oh, oh, a low blow. A low blow by the rock. McMahon distracted Austin. McMahon just hit the referee. Hey, look. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. My God. There's mankind. Oh, no. Look at is apparently going to be the referee. Oh, please, somebody hit Mankind, quick! Where's Mr. McMahon? He's laid out somewhere in front of us. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Oh, the elbow connects. That hand had a lot of force behind it. No, The Rock reverses it. What a clothesline. Look at him block the attack. What a haymaker. A huge right hand. Those body shots will wear you down after a while. The venomous Texas rattlesnake on a tear. Austin. This and he snaps it off. You know, I had 
Michaels says, let's do this. Shawn Michaels officiating this match between the champion Undertaker and the challenger, Brent Hitman Hart. And as much as we all know Shawn Michaels doesn't want to, if he shows any bias against Bret Hart, Michaels won't be able to wrestle in the United States ever again. And if Bret Hart loses this match, he'll never be able to compete in the United States again. The Undertaker is just so skilled. Look at that reversal. Oh, there we go. Another neck breaker. Again, tremendous controversy in this matchup. The officials put into the contract for Bret Hart what Bret stated verbally, that he would never compete in the United States again unless the hitman walked out of SummerSlam champion. Yeah, that was bad enough, but then Bret Hart went ballistic, and rightfully so, when he found out Shawn Michaels was going to be officiating this match. Well, I think he was a little bit overzealous, but I can understand his apprehension with his arch rival Shawn Michaels as the referee. Well, of course. And then you look at it one step further. Shawn Michaels is refereeing the first match of his life. I don't know how judicious that is. You can almost sense the desperation, for the lack of a better term, of both these men. Well, they're certainly giving it their all. No doubt about that. And so is Shawn Michaels thus far. Michaels asking officials to be the guest referee. He was granted that. But then, unfortunately for Michaels, a provision was put into his contract that stated he could not favor The Undertaker. If he did, Sean would be excommunicated to a certain extent here in America. So we're seeing the unlikely objective officiating a counter. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? He's getting out of there. Challenger has to remember, if he gets disqualified, he can't win the title. Great ring presence to avoid that. Undertaker goes down. Oh, he's on the move again. That chair shot landed. Oh, my God. That was vicious. He's just... Here's the... Bret Hart into the cover. Michael's getting to his feet. And look, King, Michaels sees the chair. What chair? You know exactly what chair, King. And Michaels doesn't trust Bret Hart one bit here. Oh, good God. Undertaker gets nailed for that chair again. Some big shots from Kane. 
punch connects. Oh, man, that could be a knockout. Oh, Kane is just re There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Oh, no. The big red machine looking to hit. Oh, no. Kane's got the neck. Chokeslam connects. My God, the elevation. The impact. Straight kick. Oh my gosh! Bam! He used all his weight on that leg drop. What a lethal series of kicks! And there's the elbow. Hey, he's going for it again! Oh boy! He's got him up!
a shot to the face. Oh, no. Talk about getting launched out of the ring. That was an impressive suplex. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. He landed right on his neck from that German suplex. They dodged that one. A huge elbow. Oh, man. Edge is such a crafty performer. Missed him. Man, DDT right on his face. Ouch. Whoa, oh, what a suplex. There's an elbow. And Edge heads for the top rope. Ah! He hits the high-risk move. Sometimes when you go high-risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. What's this? In totally blindsided. And there's the reversal. Edge reverses. with that clothesline. Triple H, one step ahead. Back elbow. An elbow. <laughs> Putting the knee to his opponent. the ground and he has to make a tag to his fresh partner after all of these shots to the head I've got a feeling that soup's gonna be on his diet for the foreseeable future <laughs> Wow those are some big shots from the rock he just turned him inside out. A textbook suplex. Stiff power elbow tie-up. Now that's the kind of hit that can put you in the hospital. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. Great ring presence to avoid that. Huge power move. Come on, he's in a match. Unloading with that kick. 
to the midsection. Triple A DDT. Look at this. Big Bulldog. I can smell it. Rock has him up. One super flex. Rock taking advantage. A clothesline out of nowhere. And there's an elbow drop. Hey, what that? Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? And the Rock counters it. He's able to make a tag. Good teamwork there. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Finally, we might get some order in this match. Austin, this could be bad. Wow, another knee. Austin spots the opening. The 
there's no way he's getting out of that hole. He's toast. Man, he came down hard from that back body drop. He's left the ring. This could get interesting. Whoa, watch out! The announce table is getting torn down. Heading back into the ring now. Oh, the elbow connects. Look at this! Big bulldog! And the ref starts the count. That suplex was picture perfect. Shoulder block. And block what a perfectly executed submission. And he blocked it. Bradshaw with a Texas size reversal. There's an elbow. Bulldog headlock. Face first to the floor. A little bit of intimidation here for the big horse known as Bradshaw. just uncalled for. In the knuckles connect. Oh, King blocks it, and man, did he make him pay. He might have broke his neck with that DDT. How much force was delivered there? And there's an elbow drop. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Bradshaw's got that crazy look in his eye. Let me tell you, folks, he's putting on a clinic.
Jericho reverses it. Oh, big elbow. That should do it. Elbow connects. Ow, what an elbow. Nice counter there by Road Dog. Collision that was. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Chris Jericho pulls out his trademark bulldog. Dodges out of the way. Wow, Jericho is so slippery. That was an impressive suplex. a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Bam! Oh man, what impact from that suplex. It hurts me to watch those bag breakers, I'll tell you. There 
There's nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. Oh, down on the back. You know his neck is feeling that one. It's been heaven. And there's the tag. He makes the tag. Christian has a hold of him. Not going to 
to tolerate much more of this. She won't do much damage with attacks like that. She's heading back up. Heads up. Uh oh. Lee Quick three. There's a cover. One. Press two. And that's it. Oh, the lovely Lita has taken. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Austin spots the opening. And he drops the leg across his opponent. Oh, what a clothesline. The punch connects. The rattlesnake. Sit. Absolutely incredible right now. What agility was on display with that head scissor. Oh! Watch it. Oh, what a roundhouse. Oh, and Lita counters that beautifully. Oh, Trish landed all of that.
Dodges out of the way. Trish is in trouble. Lita on the receiving end now. Breaks the count at two. Trish Stratus is as tough as she is mesmerizing. The two tie up, testing their strength. Whoa, Lita taking some punishment. Whoa, whoa. And that leg drops down hard again. Oh, baby, look at that move by Lita. Oh, did you see the force behind that? Ah, uh, how good is Chris Stratus? Reversal. Narrowly avoiding the attack. Performance by the 